Hello, Jay here. We're going to talk about 4-4 four, four meter counting beats and bars. And most of this book is going to be written in 4-4 four, four time. That's very common time. But we'll also talk about some other meters too, like 3-4, 6-8, 12-8. <laughs> okay, first of all, 4-4 um, four, four meter is also referred to as common time. And you might see a C right at the beginning of a, um, of a song or a chart. Um, but we'll, we'll be writing it more in a 4-4. Four, four, and that's when you're going to see two fours stacked on top of each other. Okay, now 4-4 four, four meter is commonly found in most popular music, such as rock, hip-hop, electronic dance music, country, jazz, blues, and more. So many styles or genres of music are written in 4-4 four, four time. This is why, as drummers, a solid understanding of 4-4 four, four meter is necessary and able to understand music, read music, and play with musicians. Okay, now, when you see usually a written piece of music, you're going to see a clef sometimes. Um, if it's not a drum chart, I should say, but let's say if we're doing guitar or piano or something like that, um, that's a treble clef right there. Um, you're going to see some sharps or flats. That's your key signature. And then you'll see the time meter. So that's the 4-4 four, four time meter. Those two fours stacked to each other. That particular one has a treble clef and a couple sharps. Um, but like I said, when you're reading drum charts, sometimes you might not get um, a treble clef or a bass clef or a key signature. But common things you'll see on a chart right there. Okay, now the top number, that top four, is telling us how many beats in a bar. And the bottom number is telling us which note gets the beat. So a four stands for quarter note. That means we're counting with quarter notes. Okay, now a bar of music is also called a measure and it's indicated with vertical lines. So if you see those two bar lines right there, right in the middle of those would be the actual bar or measure of music. Okay, now once we know the time meter, we know how many beats per bar. So if we're in four, four time, and if we have four quarter notes right there, we would just play it like this. One, Two, three, four. Okay, now you may have heard a drummer count in a song like one, two, three, four. This is a good example of a count in which establishes the beat and four, four meter before starting. So super common, especially if you've seen a live band, drummer might go like one, two, three, four. <laughs> establishing the beat, establishing the tempo too, but that's, um, that's a perfect example of four, four time right there. Okay, now we can have a two bar phrase where I'm going to have two bar lines kind of sealing off this two bar phrase. If you notice, there's we have our 4-4 four, four meter. There's a double line right there, double bar line, letting us know that it's a new phrase or a new statement or an exercise. And within that, we have two bars. In between those two bars has a single bar line, and then there's another double bar line at the end of the second bar. So it's letting us know that's a two bar phrase. And if we have quarter notes in each bar, it would sound like this. One, two, second bar two three four so i would play right through those two bars right there okay now second to bottom line here we have a repeat bar when you see double bar lines with two dots these are called repeat bars and indicates repeating one time so let's say if i see that one i see my repeat bars it means i'm going to repeat it just one time so i'll go like this one two three four repeat two now on the bottom line, you can also let the reader know how many times to repeat that repeat bar. So if you see I wrote a four and an X, that's a number used to say how many times to repeat it. And then the X stands for times. And that's just basically saying four times. So let's say if I do that bottom example, I see it's telling me to go four times. I would go like this. First time, two, three, four. Second time, three, four. Third time, two, three, four. Fourth time, two. Okay, hope that helps. Cheers.